Now we're gonna do the back sacrum and the hind quarters. When you first start on your horse on, on his back, you can just turn the hand unit on low. And then once he's used to it, you can turn it up to medium. Medium is really as high as you need to go. Mo again, more is not better. So we're gonna start off and we're gonna put the hand unit parallel to the horse's spine. There is a nerve channel that runs two to three inches parallel to the spine. So just put your hand unit and put the whole hand unit parallel to the spine and slowly run it back. And you can do this three or four times. And if your horse has a serious problem with his, in an area of his back, especially in the lumbar area, I would just lay the hand unit right there and put the whole thing on his, on his back and leave it there for three or four minutes. If your horse has a sacrum problem, we're gonna put the hand unit right in here. It's almost each side of the highest point on his rump. So we just put the hand unit right there and hold it there for three or four minutes. Really helps the sacrum and the sacroiliac ligament by increasing circulation to the whole area. Another place that re really helps your horse if you put your fingers on his spine and put some downward pressure and run your fingers back, it will come to a soft spot where his spine ends. There's an, an acupuncture point there called the bow wee point. Just put the rubber attachment right on that soft spot and keep it there for two or three minutes. Sometimes that soft spot, that acupuncture point can become blocked and this just increases the blood circulation to the area and opens up that point. To treat your horse's hamstrings, you hold the hand unit perpendicular to his spine and about two to three inches from his spine and slowly run the hand unit right back by his tail and then come down over the hamstrings. I would do this three or four times very slowly. If you do have a horse who does have a problem with his hamstrings, I would just, after I've done that, I would take the hand unit and just hold it right there for two to three minutes. and just treat the rest of his hind quarters and go over the gluteal muscles. You just hold the hand unit right here and slowly go down over this muscle here. Again, I would do that three or four times. And again, if you do have a problem with a specific muscle or a certain area back here, after you're finished doing this, then just hold the hand unit right on that area, whether it be here or down here or down here. You can just hold the hand unit there for a couple of minutes. You can do the same on the other side. 